السلام علیکم ون پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دی نیوز ریڈ بائی عائشہ غازی فرسٹ دی ہیڈ لائنز پرائم منسٹر سیز گرلز ڈی جی اسکل ڈیولپمنٹ از امپیریٹو فار ڈیولپمنٹ آف دا کنٹری Pakistan Economic Survey being launched today will highlight government achievements in different sectors during the current fiscal year. An international freedom of press watchdog says Kashmiri journalists are often targeted by soldiers at Indian government's behest. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shahid Khakan Abbasi says the government is committed to provide broadband connectivity all over the country. He was speaking at a ceremony organized by Ministry of Information Technology in Islamabad today to honor girls from across the country who have learned computer coding under the DG Skills program. The Prime Minister expressed the confidence that students associated with program would get gainful employment, especially girls. The ICT for girls, which will uh, merge into the DigiSkills program, will inshallah be a way forward to provide IT skills and gainful employment for the girls of Pakistan. And I'm very confident that it will result in employment generation, especially in far-flung areas. He hoped that the federal program would serve as a model for province and they would come up with their own programs. Pakistan Economic Survey, a pre-budget document is being launched in Islamabad today. The survey will provide an overview of the national economy, highlighting performance and achievements in different sectors during the current fiscal year. Its launching marks the opening of budget-related events, including presentation of the federal budget in the National Assembly tomorrow and the post-budget media interaction on Saturday. Indian Army resorted to unprovoked firing at Padbar sector on the line of control today, martyring two civilians and injuring two others. Foreign Office spokesperson Dr. Muhammad Faisal at his weekly news briefing in Islamabad today said that the Indian forces used heavy automatic weapons and anti-tank guided missiles. An international organization that defends freedom of press conference press across the globe says Kashmiri journalists are often targeted by soldiers at the behest of Indian government. The Reporters Without Borders in its annual report while referring to the problems faced by journalists in occupied Kashmir, said foreign reporters are barred and the internet is often disconnected there. It said that ever since Narendra Modi became prime minister, Hindu fundamentalists have been referring to journalists in extremely violent terms. The ranking so-called Democracy India in the press press freedom index has further plunged to 138 in a ranking of 180 countries. In occupied Kashmir, attackers decamped with four service rifles of policemen in an attack on a police post in the outskirts of Sirinagar. A group of attackers launched the attack on the police post of 13 battalion located at Hyderpura. North and South Korean presidents will meet tomorrow at, to discuss ways to def- defuse tensions in Korean Peninsula. North Korean President Kim Jong-un will be meeting South Korea's President Moon Jae-in in a rare moment of diplomacy of 70 years of bitter rivalry. The historic talks will focus on the North's recent suggestions it could be willing to give up its nuclear weapons. Seoul says reaching an arg- agreement on this will be difficult because North Korea's nuclear and missile technology has advanced so much since the sides last held talks. The United States has urged Taliban to participate in electoral process. In a statement in Washington today, Acting Secretary of State John Sullivan said further violence will not bring peace and security to Afghanistan. He said Washington supports the Afghan security forces who are fighting the terrorist groups that seek to destroy peace. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log in onto our website, radio.gov.pk. And also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.